Hey guys. Okay. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a try to do a start of a rundown on how PCDJ works, how you should set it up with your folders. Uh, all your music goes in a thing called record case, which you would have your rock and roll, your 50s, 60s, um, 70s, where you have your disco, uh, your hippie type music, 70s rock, 80s, 90s, and so on and so on. I'll show you how to load that up. Uh, I just wanted to go back to the last video I did of the Italian Greek wedding. Um, like Brian thought, I did a lot of Greek weddings or something. Now that was actually our first off. Out of five years, I'd never done a Greek wedding before. And it was a really, really good night. Um, I was just, in, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea. Uh, I just was told of a few tracks to do. I did the majority of that through the night. And they were just going crazy. They did the whole bride and groom up on the chair. And the chair's jumping up and down. I didn't catch that on the tape, but you know, you see it like in movies and things like that. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. But anyway, on with the setting up for um, PC DJ. Okay, I hope this um, comes out alright and you guys can see this okay. Basically, before you do anything, you've got to put your music into the computer. Obvious. Okay, so where I have mine is you go to uh, my computer, put it under C drive, no I don't, <laughs> music of course, I've got a folder called Midnight Sounds, which is where I've got everything kept, go in there, my name, Damien's Case, and everything's in there, I've got my, um, see if I can zoom in a bit on this, I got me uh, 60s, 80s, Christmas music, house, remix, country, 70s, 80s, 90s, all that sort of stuff in there. So you make up those folders, basically, and um, you put your music in those folders. I'll just show you, for instance, say under my 2000, which is 2000 to current uh, 2007. Now, if you're looking here, in the 2000 folder, there's more folders in there. I'm just trying to focus this thing up. <laughs> Stupid thing. Alright, and that's what the folders are called. Pop, rock and hip-hop, remix, dance. And the music's sitting in there. I'll click on one and show you. Say under dance, double click on that. All the music's in there. That would be the dan dance stuff. Dirt, obvious. Okay, so you make up your folders. I might just do a quick rundown on how to do that in case you're not real sure. Uh, in this other folder here, it says XS Unify. That is where my karaoke stuff is kept. It's uh, CDG stuff. And that's it there. With karaoke, uh, karaoke runs on MP3 as well. So MP3 is the music. And there's another file, I'm not even sure what it's called, but that's where the words are stored. And you don't have to worry because the system actually puts them together. It matches up the song with the words, puts it together, which comes up on your screen. But I'll get into that probably another day, I'd say. Okay. But basically, yeah, all you do is you right-click, make new folder, call it whatever. So you've got the whatever folder, then you put a new one in there, say 80s for instance. And then what you do is when you've ripped your music into the computer, you go into your 80s folder, right click and you paste your music in there. Now once you've done that, I better get rid of that actually, otherwise I'll confuse myself. When you've done that, you fire up the system. Which I'll do. There's a lot of music in there, so it takes a little while to run through everything to bring it all up. And there we go. Okay, now if you got, hopefully you guys can properly see that. 
I think you can see all my uh, different folders and everything, my 70s, 80s, 90s, all that sort of stuff. Basically, to do that, um, in this section here, where you can see my mouse, you would right click and monitor a music folder. Actually, I might be able to actually do one off the desktop. Uh, number two, right, I'll delete. When you delete a um, a folder, it's just delete group subgroup, which gets rid of it. What I'll do, I'll put it back in. Okay. Alright, now I just new folder to, I just use those folders just to put new music in. Then I run the beats, the gains, which I'll show you as well. Um, then I cut them out of there and put them where they're supposed to go. Maybe a, a song from the 80s I didn't have and I put in the 80s pop folder or something rather like that. But to add one in, right click, it's right at the top, monitor a music folder, it'll ask you, now that one that I got rid of was on the desktop, it was new folder 2, you click OK, and there it is there, naturally there's no music in it, but I've got a new folder 3 on the desktop, which is that, which was that Italian and Greek music that I did Saturday night, so that's how you load songs in there, and when that's done, what you can do, um, this actually does your beats, your BPMs, and your gains. What the gains are, if a music, a song is too quiet or too loud, it'll level it out so everything's the same. Because there's nothing worse than being at a gig, hit a song, you're running out of time, hit the next song, and it's way too loud, or it's just nowhere near loud enough, and you've got to bring your ma main volumes up just to compensate. But what you do, you click one, control A, to select the whole lot, right click and in it, I don't know if you can see it, it says BPM, see if I can zoom in on that, um, scan selected, sorry if it's a bit wobbly here, okay, okay so you select that, and then up here it will just say start, and she'll scroll across the top, it'll run through the song, finish, and make its way down. These actually haven't been done, so you should see the BPMs and the gains change. The gain won't change if the song is at proper level. If it's at a you know decent volume, it's not going to change. See, that just gave me my beat, 103.69 BPMs, and it'll go through like that. Not that you rely on that fully for beat mixing, but it puts you in the ballpark of a very small way. Really, you know, it's really good. It makes life a hell of a lot easier doing it like that. Okay, don't need to run that. Basically, when that's done, uh, BPM gain select, uh, gain select. You just remove the tracks, the one that's that's done. Go back in your folder. Now it's still in there because it hasn't been done. Uh, like it's been done but not in that folder and all you got to do is you right click and I'm so used to just zapping through this note you got to do it on the actual folder and you got to refresh um, refresh that subgroup that is yeah that way you're only refreshing that group and not the entire system because under it it says refresh all groups and if you've got as much music as I have uh, it can, honestly, it can take about seven to eight minutes. You never do that a gig, you run out of time. But, click refresh, done. Now, yeah, I have already done these. And if they were all at zero, um, all these have changed. You do, um, your BPMs, and the guy, I don't have the gain on display because you already know, you don't need to look at that, basically. So, okay. That's part one, I think. <laughs> Uh, if there's anything I've missed out on, you guys happen to pick up on it, let me know. Um, but yeah, do a few more parts because what are we? Psh, nearly 10 minutes, so I better stop. Okay.